Welcome back to another video. So this week it's Monday the 30th and this week I've got a lot of stuff to do still. On my daughter's first birthday I held a sale on my handmade baby clothes shop and I got a lot of orders. A lot more than I thought I would because since I opened that shop it's been very slow. Um, I've only had about six orders I think but I got 12 orders last week. <laughs> And I, my turnaround is two to four weeks, so I've got a lot of making to do. Still got sticker orders as well, I've got nine of them to do, so I've got a busy week. I've just put up a new kit called Cherry Blossom, which I'll have here, which is lovely. I really, really like it, so actually that's going up in ten minutes. But I thought I'd just share the handmade items that I've already made. So the first order was for this one, this is size four. I love this fabric. This is a, a vintage Sanderson fabric, which when I first started doing this meant absolutely nothing to me, but now I know that Sanderson is very popular. So this one is size four, it's my Lillian dress, I love it. This is another size four with a collar and it's got like cute little puff sleeves. This is called the Caroline dress and this is made out of a duvet cover from Dunelm. This is actually the other side of the duvet that I made Elena's first birthday out of, which I still haven't done that video, but there's a full video of me making her outfit, but that's that fabric. This one is a little two-piece, this is 12 months, and this is a two-piece, so this is like a top, and then there's also bloomers which are inside the bag, but I love the style. This is also Caroline with the collar and the little puff sleeves. And the lady asked for just a white bodice. And this is a vintage um, Hamilton McBride, which again, meant nothing, but now does. <laughs> this one is called Lexi. And this is uh, made out of vintage uh, Dorma fabric, which were gonna be curtains, but never made it to curtains. I love this one. It's got lovely detail in and the um, frills on the side here. So if you haven't worked out by now, my daughter is called Elena. All of my patterns are um, the Rebecca, the Elena, the Lexi, the Lillian, the Caroline, the Bonnie. So if you know where I've named all of my names from, leave it in a comment down below. <laughs> That's all of those and I'm going to make another two now. So I think I've got a Caroline and a Bonnie to make. I'm going to get to that now. It's a couple of days since I last filmed. I didn't film yesterday. I was just trying to get on with my sewing. I've still got six orders left to do, I think. Finish this one, which is another bunny in this pretty fabric. And a two piece in this one with the cute little sleeves. I've got this one that I'm doing at the moment. This morning I have got my sticker orders that I need to do, I want to get all of them done and then I can just concentrate on the rest of the clothing orders. So I'm going to get onto sticker orders now, I'm really tired, I need a cup of tea, yeah, let's go.
cutting out more sticker orders. I haven't been cutting out fabric orders and I haven't filmed much because I'm just so busy. So much brighter in it now. Yeah, so it's just so busy. I did get a, another fabric through in the post. It was advertised as a vintage Liberty, but it's definitely not. This is poly cotton. It's, um, Liberty is 100% cotton. Doesn't feel like a Liberty at all. My mum bought this scrap of Liberty from a shop which she has given to me and this is really soft and feels amazing quality so I'm going to make some bits out of this. This is really really nice so this is actually a Liberty. That one doesn't feel like that at all but it's still really nice and it was quite a bargain. I've been waiting ages for a tissue paper delivery. I've got all those orders there ready to go but I can't post anything so I've got no tissue paper and I only use white for this shop because of the, their clothes and I'm just worried that some of the colour from the colour tissue paper will transfer even though it's not supposed to I still worry so I only stick to white for that shop yeah so I'm still going <laughs> My tissue paper still hasn't arrived from the other place. It should have arrived today and it hasn't, so I'm not having much luck with that. But I thought I'd wrap it up in this nice paper instead. 
it's just to have something inside the box so that it's not just a dress in a box. So wrap it up nice for Lily actually. Goes really well with this. Same colours. Anyway, so I'm going to cut these up into the shape of the box and then wrap it all up. video is very sewing heavy again but my other shop has completely gone dead and um, I had one order last week it's Saturday the 4th now I think and I had one order last week and that was yesterday <sighs> so it's been very quiet so I've been catching up on the sewing orders which I'm over halfway done I have got my pre-sale for my washi tape going live next week this is a two-piece, the bloomers are up there. This is all from the same lady. She's got three two-pieces and a dress, which I need to make. This is another two-piece. This one's really cute. And then the bloomers are in there. This one has got the lace trim. And the bottom, this is another two-piece. The bloomers are inside. But this one's so cute. This one's turned out really well. I have a number that I need to embroider. Um, I've got two numbers I need to embroider, but one is for my sister-in-law, for my niece, for her birthday. I've just drawn that out. I need to do that as well, because I'm giving that to her tomorrow, so I have to do that today. Yeah, so I need to get onto this dress. Just had another fabric order, so I'm going to unwrap that now. office is a complete mess at the moment. I've got more storage of this coming today. I've got another Kallax unit which move this stuff here, move this trolley and then slide it along. So I'm hoping that it will fit next to each other. Put all this fabric away. I need to go through the fabric, photograph it for I'm reopening this shop um, on Saturday. Um, yeah, so I've got lots to do. This is my little Easter project. This is making it for Elena, but it's like a sample for what I want to bring to a shop. So this fabric is Laura Ashley curtains and they're so pretty. I love the colours. So I was thinking a two piece, this style, but not the collar. So it's this with the skirt and the sleeves, but it'll be a two piece or a dress. It's whatever the person wants, but on a 
um, diamond, I was thinking of doing like a little bunny embroidery. This isn't my drawing, this is from Little Lizard King, I think she's called. But yeah, I've just added more on the side here to even it out. But yeah, embroider a little bunny. So I was going to do this brown bunny with a little white tail green for the leaves and then these two colours which match really well to do the flowers. So I need to do that and make up sort of like a prototype, like a sample, photograph it, show everyone. And then if they want to order, I can make probably three of these. And then there's also something with this BHS fabric. So in the handmade community, this BHS fabric is loved. But yeah, basically I need to make that as well. So my battery's flashing and I'm gonna get to work. So I'll see you soon. Finished off these, the elastic came. I had to just finish off the bloomers. So I've done that, wrapped them up, done a paper sheet plans, one of the orders I had notepads, and then I finished another order. I've got two more orders to go. One has got custom embroidery, which is last, that came in last anyway. And then I've just got this one that's got two. So I'm starting with the quickest one first. And then my other unit has arrived, but I do not have time to put this together. It might be in my next vlog, actually. I'll put it in the next vlog. We're going to get onto this one now. So let's get going. Nearly there. 